This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Ah, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. Well, here we are backstage where our players are warming up for today's big match because today, one of them is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So, players, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. here today and of course you here at home let's find out who our players are today your name is Tommy Russell Tommy tell me a little bit about yourself well I'm from Columbus Georgia I'm out here visiting my grandmother I like to swim and fish and I like Doberman pinchers a lot you like Doberman pinchers yes. huh okay you use them for bait when you fish do you? no no okay Tommy nice to meet you and you I'm Shaney Stein I'm originally from Milwaukee I like to play the clarinet and I play baseball how do you spell Shaney C-H-E-Y-N-E-Y -E -Y. Uh, interesting name. All right, Chaney and Tommy. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today, it is Zookeeper. Right. Chaney and Tommy, shake hands, and let's go play Starcade. And while they get ready to play Starcade, we'll have Kevin tell us about the five games we're going to be playing today. Jeff, the video force is with us today, and we've got some of the newest and best arcade games around, starting with Black Widow, and the creepy crawlies are in abundance. Then it's Mazer Blazer, a shot in the dark. Next, Star Wars, and the force is with you. Then, Arabian, a sheik in a fight. And finally, Pole Position, a race for speed. Jeff? Awesome. Great games today. Thanks, Kevin. Now, those are today's five games. Both of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. If you pick it in the first three games, a valuable prize is automatically yours. We're going to let Kevin whisper to our home audience and tell them what the mystery game is today. Our mystery game today is Star Wars. Okay, now they know. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer it correctly, and you pick the first video arcade game we're going to play. You all set? Hands on buzzers. In the game Frogger, what kind of traffic is in the last lane of traffic? Is it A, trucks, or B, race cars? Tommy. A, trucks. A, trucks. Right you are. Good for you, Tom. <laughs> that gives you the advantage. You pick the first game. What are we going to play first? Arabian. Arabian it is. And now our own Sultan will tell us exactly how to play Arabian. Ah, oh, Sahib, come with me and see before your eyes genies and other truly magical things. It will be easy to climb, walk, jump, and crawl your way through the pages of an Arabian adventure, collecting letters in sequence to spell Arabian, kicking a few Oscars and rock birds for more points. But, Afende, pray stay away from the genie and the... Oh, Afende, so sorry, I do not speak fast enough to warn you of danger. But fear not, we will begin anew. Yeah, I can think of about four countries who have a good excuse to attack us now, Kevin. Thank you very much. Okay, Tommy, how you doing? All right? All right. All right, you picked Arabian. How come? Because it's one of my worst games, and I figured if I picked it now, I could get a chance to score up if he's ahead of me. On the other games? You're right. right that's interesting. I don't think anybody's tried that strategy yet on the show. That's pretty interesting. You'll have 50 seconds. Uh, remember, you can kick the rock birds. You can kick the Oscars. Try to spell Arabian in 50 seconds. You get yourself some bonus points. You ready to go? Uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Get ready, get set, play. And we're off. 500 points. Good kick. Got them both. Whoops. <laughs> Slippery pole, look out. About 25 seconds, you need some points. Oh, you got you. Another one coming up. You have time for some more points? Yes. There you go. Oh, no. Another one coming up. You have about 10 seconds. 2,200. Okay, Tommy. Hey, look, 
Yeah, don't, don't leave me yet. Had a little bit of trouble there, didn't you? Yeah. All right, but 2,200 in bed. You head on back. Amber and bring Shady down here. All right, Shady, he said this was uh, his worst game. How do you feel about Arabian? Well, I just tried this a little while ago. Go, but I think I'm pretty good at this. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. good for you. All right, let's see how well you do. Now, just one thing, Shaney, be yeah. before you turn around. Don't let the Arabian die because our floor manager, Jopchi, gets very depressed when that happens. Okay. Okay, here we go. You ready? Get set. Play. All right, here we go. Okay. You're doing all right, 35 seconds. Hey, all right, doing fine. Plenty of time. Can you get that in? Look out for the genie. Don't mess with him. Look out. Look out. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, you'll have time for some more points. Okay, Shaney, yeah, you did really well at the game. Now you hang on right here because we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll see who gets to choose the next game right here on Star Cake. All right. The Starcade audience travels by way of Trailways bus lines. No bus, plane, or train gets you there cheaper than Trailways. Go Big Red, go Trailways. The grand prize today on Starcade is the video arcade game Zookeeper. A frantic rush to cage the animals by building bricks really fast. It's Zeke the Zookeeper, furnished by Taito America. And now back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Okay, Tommy and Shady, one of you is going to get a shot at Zookeeper. Let's check the scores and see who's in the lead so far. Tommy, you have a score of 2,200. Shady, you have 3,400. Okay, about 1,200 points separating him. Shady, you're in the lead right now, but there's still one more game to be played in this round, and the total points scored on both games is going to determine who gets to play the name of the game board. Tommy and Shady, you ready for another question? Yep. All right, here it comes. Hands on buzzers. In Centipede. The highest points can be made by blasting A, spiders, B, scorpions. Shaney. Scorpions. Scorpions, right you are. <laughs> now you get to choose which game we're going to play. Which one do you want to play? I think I'll take Black Widow. Black Widow. Black Widow it is. And now we'll listen to someone who destroys their young, Kevin. Ew, Jeff, what a creepy intro for a creepy game, and you're one of the creepies yourself. You're the Black Widow, seeking out all those who get trapped in your web, zapping them out, shoving the eggs over the side or into the center of the web for even more points. And some of the intruders turn into grub stakes when they're zapped. Grab these up and keep the web clean. You're a fat and happy Black Widow. All right, Shaney, Black Widow it is. And don't forget, uh, when you shoot them, they're changing the dollar signs and tag those dollar signs for extra points. Okay. You confident? Yep. All right, let's see how you do. Okay. You have 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. That's it, tagging the dollar signs. There you go, doing fine. Plenty of time. Don't let them gang up on you. seconds to go. All right. Make those dollar signs. 19 seconds. Seventy-five. All right, Shaney. Nice. Good going. Head on back. Here comes Tommy. Oh, well, Tommy, you got your work cut out for you, I think. Yes. You're going away from me already. You have to get a lot of points here. How do you feel? 
Not too good. <laughs> well, he chose this game. It's a tough one. Let's see how well you do. It's called Black Widow. You have 50 seconds. Turn around here. Okay. Get ready. Get set. Play. Oh, they got you. Another spider coming up. 35 seconds. Don't let him touch you. All right. Oh, they got you again. 20 seconds. Hang in there, Tommy. That's it. Look out. Yeah, they made a move. Take a couple up. All right. 10 seconds. Too bad. All right, 6,650, 6,650. You head on back. We're going to total up the scores, but it looks like I know already who's going to play the name of the game board. Both of you had a chance to play Arabian and Black Widow. One of you now is going to go for the special prize on the name of the game board. So we'll total up the scores, and we'll find out that Tommy, you have a score of 8,850. Shady, you have a grand total of 19,575. Boy, Black Widow is your game. Come on down here. Turn your back to the board. You did great on Black Widow. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Behind you now is the Name the Game board and a chance to pick up a really nice prize. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to, we're going to win a great prize. You all set to go? All right. All right, turn around. In the upper left-hand corner, screen number one. Move over towards me just a little bit there. That's it, Shaney. Good. Is that Ms. Pac-Man or Pac-Man Plus? Ms. Pac-Man. Right you are. Good. Number two, is that Crawl or Guardian? Guardian. No, sorry, it's Crawl. Number three, is that Space Bug or Jump Bug? Jump Bug. Jump Bug, you're right there. Number four, is that Wacko or Coozer Cruiser? That's Wacko. That is right. Wacko is right. Good for you. Congratulations. You got three out of four. And three out of four is good for a prize. Kevin? It's Sicy Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sicy's provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player, Sicy's. Way to go, Shady. And we'll be back in a minute to play the final round of Star Arcade to see who has a chance to win their own video arcade game. Here's the latest video game news from the Starcade Hotline. When you press the starter button on Star Trek, you hear... Welcome aboard, Captain. That's Mr. Spock talking to you, and it's done with a computer chip. That's a little piece of silicon no bigger than the tip of your finger. Mr. Spock's actual voice has been programmed onto this chip, and the chip plugged into a game board. So it's really the chip talking. Well, no, it's really Mr. Spock, but, well, I don't know. Jeff, do you think they beamed Mr. Spock aboard the chip? I, I think you better stay out of the refrigerator. That's what I think, Kevin. Okay, here we are at round number two in the big challenge. Only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we'll total up all the scores, and the top scorer on all games is going to get a chance to win that Zookeeper video arcade game. Uh, Tommy, as they say in Georgia, you in a heap of trouble, boy. Okay, because you really need to get this question. You're going to want to choose the last game if you possibly can. Of course, Shaney's going to have an equal shot at it. Ready? Hands on buzzers. What color are Chef Peter Pepper's shoes in Burger Time? A, green, B, brown. Shaney? Brown? No, they're green, and that means, Tommy, you have the advantage of picking the last game. I'll tell you one thing, the mystery game has not been picked yet, and the other thing is you better pick a game you can score some points on. We have Pole Position, Star Wars, and Mazer Blazer left. Which one are you going to pick? Star Wars. Star Wars. And that's the mystery game. That's the mystery sound. Good choice, Tommy. Automatically, you're going to win a prize. Kevin, what is it? It's Konica's new Disc 15, the world's first autofocus disc camera. Get sharp pictures from 14 inches to infinity automatically. The only disc camera on Earth with autofocus Disc 15 by Konica. All right, Kevin, thanks a lot. Star Wars is the most marvelous game. We're going to have a great time watching you play this one, and Kevin will tell us how to do it. Darth Vader, in command of the Empire's Death Star, is approaching the Rebel planet. All is in confusion, and Princess Leia has called you forward. You must join the Rebellion to repel the attack, or all is lost. You can 
not waver now. With you at the lead of Princess Leia's Rebel Force, the galaxy may survive. Use your shield. It will survive multiple hits before it leaves you. Then trust in the presence of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And remember, the Force will be with you always. Thank you, Kevin. This is just a great game, Star Wars. Uh, Tommy, now when we started the show, you said that your strategy was to pick your worst game first, and uh, here you are picking Star Wars third. Is this your best game? Yes, out of these it is. Okay, because you need a lot of points, so we're going to wish you good luck. Okay. May the force be with you, Tom. You have 40 seconds. You ready? Yep. Okay. You ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Those fireballs. Right. 30 seconds. Shields down to five. All right. Doing fine. 18 seconds. Going in. Going in. 10 seconds. Get some points. Get some points. Seven hundred sixteen. Okay, time. Nice shooting, and here comes Shady down here. Now, Shady, you shared something with me in secret during one of the commercials. You said this was your worst game. Well, uh, seems like it. <laughs> well, you're in the lead right now. Let's see how well you do. Are you ready to go? Yep. Here we go. Forty seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Play. 30 seconds. Still have all of your shield. All right. Going oh, in. in. 13 seconds. See how he gets some points here. Got him. Got him. Look out. Seven thousand five hundred ninety-nine. Head on back, Shady. Seven thousand five hundred ninety-nine. Star Wars was the game, a great game, and we're going to take a look now at the final scores and see who's going to get a shot at their own home video arcade game. Tommy, you have a total score of seventeen thousand five hundred sixty-eight. Shady, you have a score of twenty-seven thousand one hundred seventy-four. Congratulations, champ. Good play. Tommy, you ran into a little bit of bad luck. Sorry about that, but you did, uh, what you, you won the mystery game prize, right? Right. Good. I know you're going to have fun with that. Thanks for being with us here okay. on Starcade. And Shaney, you're today's big winner, and we have a special prize for you. Right, Kevin? Right you are. It's the Aquarius Compact from Mattel Electronics, a complete home computer system with a keyboard, a printer, a data recorder, and a memory expander. Packed together to perform together, Aquarius Compact from Mattel Electronics. Okie doke. Uh, Shady, would you like to take Zookeeper home with you? Well, we're going to find out if you're going to do that right after these words. All right. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive from UMI Word Feud, the competitive word search game that involves the whole family. It's irresistible fun for everyone. UMI software for family home entertainment, Word Feud from UMI. And Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy. Comfort, pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts. And welcome back to Starcade. All right, champ. Now it's a big challenge for you, Shaney. A chance to win your own video arcade game. There's still two games left unplayed. Pole Position and Mazer Blazer. Now, during the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Pole Position, you'd have to score at least 5,900 points. If you picked Mazer Blazer, you'd have to score at least 2,700 points. These are the average scores of more than 20 other players who play these same games. I understand you reached your decision, and you picked Pole Position. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, Pole Position it is. That means if you score 5,900 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win our grand prize. That's Zookeeper. And while Kevin tells us about Pole Position, let you and I go over and get ready to play it. Get behind the wheel of a Formula One racing machine and experience an incredible contest of driving skill and endurance. Increase your score by accelerating to top speeds and passing other cars on the course. 
Complete the course with time to spare and earn more points. If you're the best, you'll qualify for the pole position in the race to come. All right, now as a person who has survived millions of crashes on uh, pole position, I can tell you this, to, uh, to score 5,900 points, you're going to have to get past that fourth turn without crashing. Okay. Uh, you got any special strategy for this? Well, right now I'm just trying to stay away from the cars. I'll even go off the side of the road. I just got to get past that one point. Yeah, and that fourth thing, you don't mind. Make a sharp turn to the left and get yeah. off the road and you'll be all right. Yeah, I guess. Well, we're all with you. We want you to take home Zookeeper. So this is it. Score 5,900 points or more in 30 seconds and you'll win Zookeeper. Here we go. You have 30 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> The pole qualifies. Here he goes. Good shift. First turn. Nicely done. Fifteen seconds. Here comes the tough part. You made it. Keep going. Five thousand four. You did it! You did it! You got to go Zookeeper for Ray! Good for you, Jenny! Way to go, my friend! <laughs> Congratulations from his friends! He takes home Zookeeper! We invite you to watch the next arcade! Until then, this is Jeff Edwards. Hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye! For more information about Starcade, visit www.starcade.tv and g4tv.com slash starcade. by the tailored man of San Francisco. Some of the Starcade set provided by RCA. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.